Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so a little meta video today uh, about channel management, I guess. Um, so I recently banned a word from my comment section, uh, which it sounds a little strange. Now, if you, if you ever use this word when you are posting a comment, your comment will automatically be flagged as spam. Um, so I want to tell you why, just because, it I don't know, maybe it's an interesting story. So the word I've banned is the word Torx. T-O-R-X, like the screw, right? Um, so why did I ban that word? You've probably never wanted to use that word on my channel, um, but so why did I get rid of it? Now the story goes back to one of my more popular videos is my video, I think it's titled like, Why I Can't Stand to Use Apple or Mac Anything, or something like that. And the video is pretty much exactly what it sounds like, probably most of my subscribers have seen it. Um, but it's basically outlining the reasons I don't like Apple, I don't use Mac products, stuff like that. And it's all the typical stuff, right? Now, one little aside I make in there is I'm complaining about how a lot of Apple machinery isn't really repairable. Like, they're made in ways that make it difficult for users to repair them, so you have to go to a, a specialist who specializes in Apple stuff, who has all the right equipment. Uh, they're not very communicative about things that are wrong on Mac computers. Um, and that, that was sort of pissing me off. And I say, I think the words that come out of my mouth is something like, Apple uses special screws uh, to prevent people from opening Apple computers. And that, of course, is true. In case you don't know, um, uh, Apple uses what are called pentalobe screws, which are a special kind of screw that Apple invented, I want to say around 2008, 2009. It may have exi existed before that, but I don't know of anything else that they're used for before besides Macs. They are the Mac screwdriver kind of thing. Um, so, in order to open up a Mac machine, you usually have to have a pentalobe. There might be other kind of screws, uh, screws but pentalobe is the main thing. Um, so, I, I didn't say pentalobe in the video, but the thing is I simply said it was a special kind of screw. So, I get all of these comments. Um, now, well, let's put it this way. Um, if I haven't put out a video any given day, I'll see in my comments feed a bunch of old comments from other videos. And one of the most commented videos is usually my Apple Mac video. It's still one of my most popular ones. Um, and of course, most of the comments are positive or stuff. Uh, but of course, I get a lot of critical comments, and all of them are ridiculously stupid. Um, uh, so the most common thing I get from people who are responding negatively to that video is that they correct my statement about the screws. What they say is, you're an idiot, because you said that they're special screws, but they're actually just Torx screws. They're, uh, Torx is one of the most common kinds of like screwdrivers, so anyone can open that. Now, that comment, well, as I said before, they're not Torx, they're pentalobe screws. Uh, pentalobe, as its name suggests, has five little lobes on it. Uh, Torx screws usually have six points or whatever, they're, and they're a lot more sharper. They're totally different. I don't know how you could get these confused, but I get so many people. Nearly all of the negative posts on this video are just people no, not just correcting that, but other stupid things, uh, or like, oh, Apple isn't bad, or why can't you just be taller? Oh, well, let's let me tell, say this: um, I don't mind if you use Mac products. I, I don't care. Uh, the video title, as the title said, is why I don't use them. So I'm not pissed if you use Apple Mac anything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. In fact, I even know people in my real life who know that I made this video, and they always like are apologetic about using Mac stuff around me. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but so many of these people on the video will say, no, you're stupid, it's actually a torque screw, uh, you don't know anything about computers, and it's one of those, like, Dunning-Kruger comments that you're just like, dude, oh my god, I can't even, and usually what I do, like, I get so many of these, the, the reason I finally banned the word Torx is because I totally wanted to weed out all of these totally brainlit comments, and the, d the day I banned it, I probably got, for whatever reason, I got 70, 7 of these comments in a row. And for each one of them, actually, usually what I'd always do is just respond penelope. Just one word, penelope, to every single one of them. Um, because, one, you know, one of the things about having a YouTube channel, even mine, which isn't super big, is you get so many comments, um, even negative comments. I, I think I pretty much am able to see every comment I get, uh, but I definitely can't respond to them. Uh, and when it comes to negative comments, I think before I was a YouTuber, I was like, oh yeah, it's going to be really fun, like, you know, mashing on the negative, all, all the naysayers, I'm going to do a video about negative comments, but it's not even worth the time. Like, I get so many of these things, they're just like, whatever, you just got to get used to it. 
Um, so anyway, I banned the word Torx, and that's why. Uh, so if you ever want to talk about Torx screws on my channel from now on, you have to, you know, misspell it, you know, T-O-R-K-S, or, you know, a little star at the, with the O or something like that. Uh, but you can no longer talk about Torx screws on my channel. Uh, I hope that doesn't offend anyone. But that's, that's the reason why. And it's honestly saved me a lot of bad comments. I already looked at the spam filter, and it's filling up with just people who have just stupid things to say. Um, so anyway, that's about it. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. This has been a look into channel maintenance. So I'll see you guys later.